Grace and welcome back. We are working on part two of building the vegetable garden. If you missed part one, go back and watch that so you know what's going on here. Um, we started out by laying out the garden and I drew it all up, measured it, figured out the amount of wood we needed, and here we are to actually put the fence post in the ground today. Dave and I have talked a lot about how it's really important for us to involve the kids in what we're doing and to teach them how to build, teach them how to do these things. So we felt like this was a really, really good project to involve the kids in. They're going to be eating the food that comes out of the garden. So Little Red Hen style, we are actually going to have them help us. So I am going to walk you through the plans of the garden. I have dirty fingernails. I've been gardening this morning, so please excuse those. Uh, but this is a gardening video, so that should be fine with you all. All right, so you're gonna walk in this door here and it's 34 by 34 and I've given myself about three feet of space between each walkways. Just as I like it with interiors, I like my walkways in gardens to be three to four feet wide. This allows for enough room to comfortably walk by garden beds. I would go as small as two feet if I had to, um, but in this case, I'm really trying to keep our walkways at three feet so we can move comfortably so all seven of us can be in there and work at the same time. First, we are relaying out the garden. I originally drew the garden at 33 by 33, but as I was measuring out the wood and figuring out pieces that we needed to buy, I realized that the whole thing would go a lot better at 34 by 34. So I had to add an extra foot all over to give myself what I needed here. So I basically added one foot here and gave myself two and a half feet on the side aisles. And with that 34 by 34, I was actually able to make the wood order work out better. By adding that extra foot, we will have to make so many less cuts, which will save us so much time in the long run. So these sides Mama, will- can you open my banana? Sure, Roar. One second, banana opening underway. There you go. These sides will have five posts here and we will be using hardware cloth to keep the deer out from the sides. We're going seven feet tall here. The center door on the one side will be four feet wide. It's a good enough size for us to get into, but still small enough that we can maneuver the door pretty easily. And like I said, we're looking at 34 by 34. So seven feet, those deer should not be able to get in this garden. The deer salad bar is closed. My husband Dave and the boys are digging holes today for the fence post to go in. So we rented a post hole digger and this is something we haven't done in a long time. So here we go. We're starting with the four corners and then we're working inwards with the holes. So we can basically get our outline and then work in from there. Hey Justin. We're two inches short where? Um, I have to move it this direction. nice and level with it oh yeah that's why we did this right yeah all right we're three inches short here we're I'm working on my book and I'm in the final editing process, so I am not able to help on the fence today and instead I'm working on the layout of my manuscript At least we thought we were digging post holes today. We are reviewing the plans one final time before tearing up the backyard. We're using a two-person auger to get the most out of our labor force.
We are going down 24 to 36 inches per hole based on the grading. We're typically pretty lazy and haphazard about a lot of what we do, but we really wanted to get the garden right. So we got out our level, we got out our tape measures, we used ribbons to make sure that all of the posts were perfectly in place. Now it's time to pour and mix the concrete. We ended up using about half a bag of concrete per hole. More accurate in the curl. Yeah, have to level this. Nice. And just when I thought my boys were so grown up for doing all this work, this happened. You almost hit dad. Everyone's always happy after a good day of work. It looks super clean. <laughs> what are you guys? Urukai orcs. Yeah, orcs that are Urukai. What type of orc, Mama? Okay. I love you, my, my little nerds, my sweet nerds building your garden. <laughs> Now that I'm looking at the garden, I'm changing things around a little bit. Instead of doing boxes on the edges of the entire garden for vegetables, I've decided to bring in perennial flowers and plants. So this is going to take a little bit of rearranging and we've got to figure out how to make our current boxes work for the new configuration. Sometimes I just need to sit and think. We're using 19 gauge half inch square galvanized chicken wire to keep the deer out. Dave is hammering one by eights to the base of the entire garden for structure and support. My littlest team of workers is now busy assembling the raised garden beds. We selected a super simple bed because we wanted the kids to be able to put them together.
You might notice that our kids are barefoot and are often barefoot. This is because we want them barefoot as much as possible. We are all about grounding and them experiencing all the textures, the, the grass, the dirt, the earth, and all of the incredible negative ions that it gives to the body. Now that we are done with the fence and the garden beds, we are ready for my favorite part of a garden, planting. If you like what you're seeing here today, it would be super helpful if you would like and subscribe. It really helps us support the channel. Thanks.